Hello, darling. Do you have the time, please? It's Beer Monster O'Clock. Hello, guys. Welcome back to the Beer Monster Reviews. Thank you for joining, as always, and I hope you're all having a fantastic day. <clears throat> On the last one, we did this version of Peroni, the very posh, morty looking version of Peroni. Check out the last video to find out more about that. It was decent, got an 8.5% from me. 8.5 out of 10 from me. It's not 8.5%, it's 6.6%, .6%, I believe. Anyway, you will notice I've got the same clothes on. I don't wear the same clothes every day. I'm just doing multiple reviews a day uh, because I'm going away soon. I'm trying to get a little bit ahead so that I can still give you guys a little bit of content while I'm on holiday. Anyways, enough about all that. Today we're moving on to this one, which is a uh, Italiano beer. I think it's pronounced Manabria. Manabria is 4.8% ABV. And um, it says Manabria Beer Blonda, premium lager. Not lager to say that. We'll be the judge of that here. That's what this is all about. It's a 660ml bottle, so it's over a pint. And it's not in a green bottle, which I'm always happy to see. Uh, yeah, just don't, if you don't know guys with the green bottles, um, what it is, if they're uh, exposed to sunlight, the sun sort of beams into the bottle, and it makes the uh, beer have like a skunky aroma to it. Really uh, And it just gives it a nasty smell and it can affect the taste as well, so uh, yeah. I don't know why uh, companies like Stella and Normal Peroni and lots of other beers still continue to do that because it's a known issue. Anyway, enough of, enough of uh, that little rant. Let's go back to this one. Uh, so look at the back, 3.2 3 UK units, drink responsibly. There's a little look at the back. Very small, you probably won't be able to see it. You can pause and try if you care about that sort of thing. But, um, yeah, there we go. Anyway, let's crack her open, shall we? Today we're going to use this uh, very posh looking pills in a glass. Give it a little go. Let's have a smell. Oh, it smells really, really nice. Got like a sweet citrus smell to it. And a nice smelling hop hoppy sort of aroma. Mmm, I'm quite excited about this one now. Anyway, let's get it in the glass, shall we? I'm not quite sure how much this glass holds. I think it does hold quite a bit over a pint. Don't know if we're gonna get this whole bottle in there though. No, we're not. But not far off it. Oh, there we go. Check out the carbonation, quite a lively one. I do love these glasses, you can actually see what's going on. Uh, well also, another thing, I've also upgraded my camera. Well it's not a camera as such, but um, I've got the iPhone Pro Max 13 now. Um, I did have an iPhone 11 before, um, but before I upgrade, so I can uh, take advantage of the better cameras and so far I'm glad I did because you can see a lot more. I think it's partly the glasses, but I think, I think it's mainly the camera, to be honest. Anyway, enough talking out of my back passage. Let's see what it tastes like, because that's why you're here. Oh. That's a nice lager. That is a nice lager. Quite surprised me to be honest. My favourite Italian lager was probably Peroni, which I slightly preferred over the is it Bia Moretti, especially on tap. Although in the bottles, the Peroni comes in a green bottle, so I'd rather have uh, the Bia Moretti. But I think this is better than both of them. Mmm. 
very easy drinking. 4.8%, which I think is quite a good um, ABV level to give you a nice flavour without getting you too shit-faced. <coughs> so yeah, a lot of the um, really nice beers that I like, like Left Blonde and stuff like that, we can't really session on them because if you're out with your mates and they're all drinking Fosters and you're on that, you're definitely going to be on your ass before they are. Do you know what I mean? And after a couple, you kind of stop appreciating the taste of it anyway, didn't you? But this, you could session this quite easily. Well, I can session stuff up to about five and a half percent. No worries. Um, but yeah, this is this is good. Mm. What I like about this, it's got like a nice sweet malt that they're using in this lager, and it's quite lemony, especially for a lager. It's quite unusual, and I really like lemon tasting stuff. So for me, I think that's part of why I'm really enjoying this. It's a little bit different. Let's go again. Mm. Got a nice crisp taste to it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this. As far as lagers go, I mean, this ain't no fancy craft beer or, or what, what have you. So I'm going to kind of give this a review as kind of what it is, a normal sort of lager. I'm going to be comparing it to your Fosters, your Stella, Heineken, all them sort of range of beers. I'm not going to be comparing it to craft beers because obviously there's levels. But as far as your sort of average run of the mill lager goes, this is definitely better than average. <laughs> really nice malts for a lager. It's so easy drinking. There's a very, very tiny little hint of bitterness in there. Nothing major. This is going down an absolute treat. I mean, <laughs> to be fair, I haven't had a lager for quite a while because I've been trying all these fancy craft beers and all that sort of thing. This, this is, I'm really, really enjoying. That's it's because I've not had a lager for a while. That might be making a difference. I don't know, but I just think this is a nice beer. You've tried it, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. I've never seen this on tap in a pub or anything, but uh, maybe this could be a, a new one we might see around more. Because I think it tastes really good for a lager. And if I saw that in the tap in a pub, I'd definitely have that over anything else. I really would. I used to love me a Stella. Absolutely love me a Stella. Probably drunk a couple of swimming pools full of it in my lifetime. But they kept messing about with the strength of it. I loved it when it was 5.2. And they reduced it to like 5. And then it went to 4.8. And I still sort of stuck with it. Got used to it and all that. And now they've gone to 4.6. Right. Uh, uh, yeah. It's just not the same drink. All the flavour's gone. It's just very average now. Very, very average. You might as well drink Foster's. And uh, <coughs> they messed about with it too much trying to save money or whatever. But anyway, this ain't a stellar review. But just saying, you know, it's really annoying because I did used to really enjoy that beer. And a uh, funny story about that, why I'm on it actually, I didn't look at, I kept buying it and I didn't notice that they changed the ABV. I actually thought I had COVID because I couldn't taste it. Uh, but I've obviously got the lower 4.6 version that came out around six months ago or, or whatever it was. I actually thought I had COVID because I just couldn't taste anything. It's only when I noticed that they lowered the ABV, I realised that's why. Anyway, back onto this one. I just think this is a really good lager. I'd like to see more of it around. First time I've ever noticed it, honestly, today, because I was just looking for some random stuff to try. So it's amazing what you find when you don't stick to your normal stuff and you be a bit more open-minded about things. And looking at the bottle and that, it doesn't sort of say grab me or, you know, especially if you're a youngster, you're not going to look at that and think, oh yeah, let's get that in, lads. 
Let's go and uh, slaughter a bottle of Menabria. You know, Aya. But try it out. Honestly, it's a really, really good beer. And you're missing out if you don't try it. As far as score wise goes, I'm slaughtering this. It's the whole six, the whole lot of it is out of there. It's going down so nicely. Um, one more try. Now, before I score it, I will say this score is for a lager. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 for a lager because I've not really had many better ones. I'm loving the little hint of lemon in it. But like to summarise, the hops that I use are really good. It's got a nice citrus sort of taste about it. It's just really well balanced, really easy drinking, a proper good session lager, this one for me. Yeah, I'm really impressed with it. Um, definitely a 9 out of 10, like well, I say, for a lager. Like, I, it's, I prefer, I'd rather drink Lefe Blonde to this. I couldn't session Lefe Blonde, so I'm kind of reviewing this score-wise for what it is. You know, it's a lager, it's a session lager, in my opinion. And I don't think it gets much better than that. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Please don't forget to hit the like button. It really, really helps me out a hell of a lot. Bumps me videos up there a bit. Because uh, I am new. I don't get many views. And hitting that like button just helps me a little bit to get more views. And also subscribing really helps me and encourages me to keep making content for you guys. So I really would appreciate it. If you're new and you haven't, please hit that subscribe button. If you want to help me out and uh, inspire me to keep going and uh, improving the videos and uh, interact me in the comments if you want to guys It'd be great to uh, hear from you and uh, have a great weekend guys bye bye darlings see you on the next one peace out